Breakthrough time. Hey, 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 everybody out there. It's Dr. Stan Harris, and we got Austin on the all man. Y'all, listen, click like, click share. The brother's about to drop some hot nuggets. So, Austin, man, what's going on? I understand you're down there in Florida, man, hanging out at the pool, huh? Yeah, man, just loving living. Every <laughs> second of it, man. How you doing? I'm, man, I'm so, I'm too blessed to be depressed, too blessed to be stressed, too glad to be sad, too anointed to be disappointed. Hey, I'm too elated to be agitated. Now I'm too saved not to be getting paid. <laughs> I know that's right. Well, I'll tell you what, that, uh, I'm sure there's a song in there somewhere. <laughs> now that huge mansion behind you, man, what's going on there, bro? Uh-oh. I think we, did we lose Place. you? Yeah, it's, um. So in Orlando, Florida, uh, with a group of entrepreneurs and, that are in the uh, network marketing profession, and we're um, uh, there's a, a group of speakers that uh, we've been when been called down here for uh, an event called the Millionaire Makeover, and so our, our goal here is to take these folks that may be struggling or having challenges in their business, maybe just getting started in network marketing and help them to become six and seven figure a year income earners uh so it's a really unique uh event because in most events you know like you've been to like you're on stage or i'm on stage whatever we're in a suit we're we're speaking we're addressing uh here uh we're all staying together in this mansion and we get a chance to uh have the participants really have uh very personal access to us so it's it's very unique Wow. And uh, one, of, one of the things you're going to be teaching on, and my wife and I will we'll get there tomorrow. We're doing another training here, and uh, we're in Louisiana. That's the beauty of technology, man. But uh, oh, man. We're, we're in Louisiana. <laughs> Baton Rouge. Dude, uh, so first of all, I'll be in New Orleans in September. I love New <laughs> Orleans, Baton Rouge, except for the heat. It's not right. warm down there, is it? <laughs> yeah, man, it's warm, bro. It's a, and, and I'm here... Hey, they, when I we checked into the hotel, they said no smoking allowed. I said, oh, so that means my wife can't come in. They said, what do you mean? I said, she's smoking, bro. <laughs> but hey, but check, but check this out, bro. Man, you got to break this down. So you teach people. You're going to be training and speaking on storytelling and sales. Give us a little heads up. I know because you've been top of three different companies using some of these techniques. So come on, man. Talk to us. Yeah. Yeah, so um, we'll be going on a lot of stuff. Like last night, it wasn't actually the event, but uh, I was here with five other participants. Uh, I was the only speaker. I was the only guy as well. But um, so I was here with them, and, and, you know, we got a chance to do some masterminding, and I got a chance to, you know, pour into some of these, these people. Um, but one of the things that Thomas has asked me to speak on is the art of storytelling. See, a lot of people... Uh, don't understand that they don't have to necessarily be an expert presenter, okay? They don't have to learn a big presentation with PowerPoints and all this stuff if they become uh, well-versed in the art of storytelling. And so if anyone's ever seen me do a presentation for a company that I'm, I was in, all I was doing was telling the story of what brought me to that point in time. And um, I pepper in you know, the, uh, the product, uh, the strength and stability of the company. I touch briefly on the compensation and uh, maybe even share one or two quick testimonials. So like the last company that I was building actively, uh, the presentation that they still use is my story, which is about seven minutes long total. And it touches on every piece that you would need to know before you made a decision to get involved. So I'll, uh, I'll show them how to do that. And then if I know that you, uh, because you're, you know, you're a seven figure earner and there's, there's probably, you know, a couple six or seven figure earners watching this or might watch the replay. Um, we don't, we don't pitch, we don't peak people the same way that, you know, people just getting started do it's, there's nothing wrong with the, the simple scripts. When you reach out to someone, ask them how they've been doing and ask them, Hey, are you open to a side project to make some extra money? Or do you keep your income options open when it comes to making more money? If you, you know, use those scripts, they have in place and you need a track to run on when you're first getting started. Oh. But, <laughs> hey, this is live. This is live. So, Come on, man. Yeah, I got attacked by a killer ladybug. So, um, 
so anyway, as I was saying, uh, I'm going to show them how to craft a quick two or three minute story to share with people instead of just pitching them or peeking them right off the bat. Um, and that's very valuable because it builds value in what it is that you're talking about so you don't get as many objections. Uh, if you're getting the I don't have money objection, it's because they don't see the value in what it is that you're doing. So, um, you know, it, it really cuts a lot of the uh, objections and uh, resistance that you get uh, out of the picture if you do it the right way. So that's what I'm going to be. That's one of the things that I'll be speaking on. Wow, wow, wow. And, uh, and just real quick, Austin, let's talk about uh, a little bit, man. I mean, you're living in a beautiful house, man. You got a beautiful life, but it wasn't always that way, was it? <laughs> there so, was. Yeah, there was. So, so this is, I call, uh, you know, of course, the website, BreakthroughTips.com, but we talk about tips, T-I-P-S, to ensure prompt success. And, and that is, you know, Austin, I keep saying this, everybody's on the way to road to success, at least most people are, but the problem is they're on the bicycle, they're on the bus, and our job and our goal is to help get them on the jet to their success. And that's one of the things that you're doing through your storytelling, through your training, your training company and so forth. But uh, I mean, now, are you a college graduate? I mean, was your life just all grand and you just fell into network marketing and everything just worked out great for you? Yeah, it's something like that. So uh, I, uh, I grew up on a farm in Kentucky and um Whenever I was about uh, 10 years old, I was fortunate enough to have uh, have the good fortune of my house burning down and we lost everything. So I got to get out of the small town and we moved to the big city of Bowling Green, Kentucky. And um, I fell in with the wrong crowd, started doing silly stuff, uh, was in the streets and that sort of thing until about age 19. And then uh, I got involved in corporate America. So I guess I should back up and say that I dropped out my third year in the ninth grade. Uh, never never went to college. I did get my good enough diploma, my GED. And uh, so um, it's a situation where uh, whenever I first got involved in network marketing, I wasn't very good. Um, I didn't have anybody mentoring me. I didn't really, I didn't know anybody in the space. Um, and my friends list was, you know, very, uh, I don't even associate with the majority of those people anymore for, for good reason. But um, so I had to build an entirely new network. Uh, so I was, you gotta be bad before you're good, good before you're great. We all go through the same process. And I was very bad whenever I first got started. So I was looking for the light and time of a darkness. And now since, uh, you know what they say, whenever you get to the top, you still gotta send the elevator back down. So that's what we're doing now is looking for people, uh, that are maybe in that, that time of darkness to guide them to the light. And I'll, I'll, I'll wrap up that rant with a quote that um, is one of my favorites. It says, uh, the, uh, the quickest and easiest path to success is directly through the experience of others. <laughs> yes, I like to say you're either going to learn through mentors or mistakes. The problem is mistakes cost too much. So I want to learn from mentors' mistakes, right? And uh, right. So, so this is, but, but also this is anti what we've been trained. You know, we were trained, go to school, get good grades, go to college. You know, get a job, live happily ever after, and that formula is just not working. And so, I love this home-based business space because what you're saying is, I mean, based on the quote-unquote world standards, you don't qualify to be making the kind of money you're making, to live in the kind of house you're living, to drive the kind of cars, to have the freedom, to have the prestige, and all that. But this whole home-based business industry changes everything. Is that correct? Hey, that is very correct. So, you know, it's magical whenever you can reach out to a few people and you can teach a few to get a few to get a few. Right. And, um, you know, it's, it's cool because the biggest team I ever built in one year was 34,000 people in one year. And if you think about just getting, we'll just call it three or $4 a month from all 34,000 people. I mean, that's still quite a bit. So a little bit of a lot ends up being a lot. Exactly. Yeah, that's why I always say, you know, everybody can't be a CEO or CFO or COO, but everybody can be a CLO. That stands for Chief Leveraging Officer. So Archimedes said, if I had to lever long enough and a prop strong enough, I could single-handedly move the world. And so, uh, you know, when I used to travel, speak with Jim Rohn before he passed, you know, he made the statement that what you like in skill, you can make up for leverage. And Austin, that's not just what you've done, but now you're an expert expert at teaching people also the art of storytelling and selling to for them because 
I mean, it's one thing for you to have the success, but the great thing is that you've been pouring back into other people. And that's why you're at the event speaking and training. But also, some of these folks won't get the good fortune of rubbing shoulders with you. And, you know, you and I sometimes, when we speak in these places, like you said, and you're, you're speaking and you're out. But here at this event, uh, they get to rub shoulders with you and everything else. But it's too late for the folks now, but they can get the digital downloads and they still can learn. It's almost like looking over people's shoulders. And, uh, and so, folks, www.breakthroughtips.com, if that's something you're interested in, still getting those digital downloads. And Austin, I know that one of the bonuses, if somebody's a quick action taker, they're not just going to get this powerful $5,000 value bought messenger bot, you know, that is going to help them to literally put their business on autopilot. But they get to be in this best-selling book with people like yourself. So talk a little bit about that power of influence and what kind of story somebody could use if they get to be in that book with you and the other powerful speakers. Yeah, sure. So, um, you know, what's really neat is Thomas, Thomas Alexander has just put together such an incredible value proposition. And there's so many different things that people get, even just for getting the digital download. Um, I mean, to be honest with you, uh, showing folks that, you know, you are, uh, you know, where the winners are. You are where the people that are moving and shaking, where you're, you know, you're at these events. You're, you know, you're rubbing shoulders with, you know, the uh, the icons and, and all of that. I mean, that, um, that sort of social proof uh, can go a long way, you know, with your audience and with your prospects. And, you know, whenever your prospects see you, you know, hanging out in, in, in mansions or, they see you that are, you know, it's, uh, you know, your name's being mentioned in, in this book. I mean, that can go a long way as well for credibility and belief level and the people that you're trying to get involved in your business. So there's just so many things that Thomas has put together. Um, to be honest with you, I, I was, I was shocked that he made it all one event because we could, we could literally make the value proposition that he's put together like three or four separate events, but he's just, he's bringing it all in one. So, it's, it's pretty incredible. Well, again, I know that, again, you're going to be talking about the storytelling for sales and how that's like the secret sauce and actually how you use storytelling to remove the fear of selling. And uh, you were blessed to become the number one income earner in three separate companies, man. And, and imagine, I'm what, what, but, but, here, but here's the thing, bro. What I'm saying is this, though. Just you alone being a speaker there would be worth the price but now you take six, seven other powerful speakers and you're saying you get all that mixed together <laughs> and you have lifetime access to all that powerful information. And so Austin, I, I, be honest with us now. I mean, do you think what happened for you is just something special? Like you got this special, you know, we came from a bad background, but all of a sudden you got this special gifting and you just hit it. Or is this something that could be recreated in other people's lives? Yeah, so uh, through the companies that I've been a part of and my training and coaching business, we've helped to retire nearly 600 families from their full-time employment. Wow. Uh, I mean, quite a few of those have went on to be six, multiple six-figure and even some seven-figure a year income earners. So, um, and that's just the lives that, that I've been able to touch because I got involved in network marketing and took it seriously. So my brain thinks like in systems, um, you know, we all say system stands for save yourself time, energy, and money. And so I think of what's the quickest way to get from point A to point B, and then I systematize everything. So with the training and coaching that we, we do, um, you know, we it, it's inevitable that if people do action A, B, and C, that the result will 10 times out of 10 be D. It's not like I'm gifted and they're cursed or anything like that. So um, to answer your question, yes, it's it's absolutely inevitable that if people follow the system, they can get as much results as they want to. And wow. if you see me looking away, there's these. I'll show you. There's these little uh, these little like lizards. I don't know if you can see them over there, but there's these little lizard over there that I think are just pretty cool. So <laughs> there's all these little little animals and stuff like that around here. I'm not used to. Wow. So, Austin, man, when you were young and getting in trouble and your life was a mess, I mean, did you ever foresee yourself living like you are now? I mean, did you did you have dreams of something like this, or is this beyond your dreams? 
man. So my friend, uh, there was a point in time in which I had um, pretty much given up on life and I, I was literally um, giving serious thought to standing on the street with a sign uh, begging for money. So um, to, to think that, uh, that I could have bought my dream house and paid in cash last year or helped to retire hundreds of families or been on the front of magazines, been a best-selling author, uh, driving exotic cars, retired my mom, um, giving my kids the ability to, you know, vacation in some of the best resorts in the world. And um, I'll be honest with you, I, I really didn't see it going this far. Um, I given given up hope on life itself, but, um, you know, our, our God is a generous God. And, you know, it's a situation where, um, if you do right by others, if you enter the world with love in your heart, as it says in the greatest salesman in the world, Bob Mandino, um, if you become a student of your, your profession and you sharpen your skills and you're consistent and persistent, then success is really just the only outcome possible. Wow. Wow. Folks, by the way, I see some of you with your hearts there and Hey, William Wright, Roger, a bunch of you out there, uh, get some shares, get some likes, get some hearts. I mean, Austin's dropping some powerful tidbits, and we're going to have to close out here, let him get back in that mansion and and uh, let those folks enjoy it. But, folks, I'm telling you, um, and also, let's, let's, just, let's just be honest about this. Now, I've had days where people have had, you know, come do a doctor breakthrough day with me, and they pay $5,000. We're talking about all of us different trainers that are involved in this a special event. If somebody goes to BreakthroughTips.com, they can get the digital downloads of all of this. And I know you've got some training, some different things you've done that just far exceed the price. And, and the fact that he made this so affordable, so easy, do you think that somebody really ought to take advantage of this um, or should they just let it go? <laughs> um, you know, so what's, what's the price again for the digital download? Uh, four ninety seven, I believe it is. If they go to breakthroughtips dot com. They'll see that. That's for everything. And if they're one of the first ten action takers, they get to be part of the book. And if they're one of the first ten action takers, they also get the bot. If they're one of the first ten action takers, they also get the um, funnels and all that. I mean, it's just it's crazy. Yeah. So four ninety seven. Wow. Well, <laughs> so we spent over a hundred thousand dollars last year on coaching and training alone. Right. Um. So once again, um, the quickest and easiest path is directly through the experience of others. Guys, you don't want to go out there and have to spend one hundred and twenty, one hundred thirty thousand dollars on training this year. Spend four ninety seven and get the digital download. I mean, it's really. I'll be honest with you. That's it. You know, and if it's if it's your last four nine, like if you've got four hundred ninety seven dollars and thirty two cents in the bank, then. You know, you still got 32 cents left over, and you can take that 497 and go ahead and make millions from it if you actually want it. Okay, so I mean, if if you're just gonna buy the training and then not watch it, not use it, it's gonna be like a book that sits on the shelf, and then, you know, don't get it. But right. if it's a situation where you want more out of life, you have more ambition than you have opportunity, you have a vehicle, but you may not necessarily have the keys. We're giving you the keys. Come so. On. Definitely get the digital download and make sure that the next event we have like this, that you're there. Well, and, you know, it's been said, you know, it's all about self-development, not shelf development. Right. And I'm so glad, Austin, you said that because these people don't understand that these speakers that are there, like you said, many of them have spent 50, 60, 70, $100,000. And like I said, not over their career in a year on their own personal development. And other folks look like I can see people looking at you now saying, man, I wish I could be like that guy. But they don't see you back where you were and they don't understand the steps that you had to take. And you're simply now teaching people, training people, trying to give them those steps. And sometimes, you know, people look at you like, well, if I was like you, Austin, if I was lucky and blessed like you, and they're like, no, you don't get it. I keep telling, hey, Austin, would you say amen to this one? Every master was at once a mess. Therefore, every mess can one day be a master. I know that's right. And whenever I first saw network marketing, I was homeless. I was sleeping couch to couch. That is a fact. And so I, uh, I was working in a factory 12 to 14 hours a day. And the company that I was looking at was 330 $660, or $1,320 to join. And I don't do anything halfway. So what I did 
is I literally sold everything I had. I mean, I, I sold DVDs and got a dollar out of them. Uh, I sold everything in paycheck and I signed up at the highest level. And so there was a great deal of sacrifice in that. So if a homeless man can come up with $1,300, then you can come up with 497 bucks to invest in yourself. Exactly. And if not, like I said, if you, if you just watch what we said here, just listen and over and over again, uh, you'll still get some great value. So Austin, we've got to go, man, but what would you like to drop a nugget or two, whatever some folks as we uh, get some departing words here, uh, what you'd like to share with the folks? Yeah, you know, uh, I just want to leave you with a thought, you know. Um, I don't know who's watching or what you're going through, what situation in life you're in, but, um, you know, just remember that there may be pain in the process, but there's pleasure in the payoff. And so just well, remain consistent. Wait, 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 wait. Say that again. Say that again. <laughs> that, that's an awesome Zulov original. Uh, yeah, so there's, there's pain in the process, but there's pleasure in the payoff. And so, you know, no matter where you're at, that's, I had a coaching client that, um, they took their last and I didn't know it was their last, but they, they took their last amount of money, uh, to hire me as a coach. And, uh, it was our second coaching call. And, uh, they, they told me that they had overdrafted their bank account and it just had their, their mind. Um, it just had them in a bad place. And I told them, I said, you know, don't, don't even bother looking at your bank account uh, again uh, for a while because what you've done is you've let that fool you into thinking that's your worth. Right. So your, your current situation, that doesn't dictate your future. That's not your worth, you know? So um, just begin with the end of mind, know where you're headed and look to people uh, like, you know, this gentleman right here, uh, Dr. Breakthrough or myself or any, any of the other coaches or mentors to, uh, to help guide you. You know, that's what we're here for. All righty, my friend. Hey, well, we'll, we'll see you here just uh, tomorrow. My wife and I, my ABC, the Adorable Brown and Carmel Delight, we'll join you down there at the mansion. And thank you again, Austin, man. We appreciate you. And uh, bless.